ili Kenya iweze kuendelea. Mombasa Governor Abdul Somad Nasir had appointed 10 county executive committee members, the county secretary and the chief executive officer of the Mombasa County Public Service Board and a host of other advisors to help him run the government. <laughs> However, four Mombasa residents moved to court under the Certificate of Urgency, seeking orders to block the appointment process. They listed Nasir as the first respondent, the Mombasa County Public Service Board as the second respondent, and the County Assembly of Mombasa as the third respondent, claiming the governor had contravened the law in nominating the individuals and sought orders to stop the Mombasa County Assembly from debating, vetting, and approving the nominees, arguing that the nomination exercise had been shrouded with a lot of secrecy. In their prayers, the petitioners had also sought orders to nullify the appointment process of the nominees due to lack of public participation. In her ruling two days after oral submissions through virtual court proceedings, Lady Justice Agnes Nzei of the Mombasa Employment and Labor Relations Court pointed out that the petitioners had failed to prove the governor contravened the constitution. The judge said public participation will take place during the vetting process. Therefore, the appointment cannot be nullified as the process had not been concluded. However, they agreed to certify the matter as urgent and gave the respondents till Monday the 26th of January 2023, further allowing the CECs listed as interested parties to file their responses within the same period and the petitioner shall further file their submissions on Tuesday. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mombasa Senator Mohamed Faki has waded into the controversy by urging the governor to carry out the nomination exercise afresh. In a protest letter to the governor, Faki poked holes into the list of nominees, saying it lacked the face of six sub-counties. <laughs> <laughs> 